Hey, it's David Pingree with Racer X Online, and we're here today with a pretty neat project, something that's uh, pretty close to my heart here. Um, we got a couple of CR500s that my buddy Justin McMurich built. Um, he and I grew up racing together in Arizona as kids on mini bikes and all the way through amateur ranks. He went on to get into the fire service before I did while I was still racing. And so uh, now we're both firemen, both share a love of motocross still. And uh, Justin recently went through a really gnarly bout of cancer uh, in his jaw. I mean, beat the odds, he's, he's cancer free as of right now, but the one thing that kept him sane during all that was working on these bikes and tinkering and, and dreaming of riding his bike again one day. So he hit me up about doing a project where he, we built these things up into a couple of cool bikes with our fire department logos on them, go ride them, and then auction one of these off for charity and donate some of that money to uh, cancer research for the fire service and then part of it to the motocross industry under Destry Abbott's uh, foundation. So. I was in 100% uh, right away, and um, we got a lot of cool parts and pieces. I'm going to let him talk a little bit about these bikes, where he got them. Uh, Justin, thanks for bringing this whole idea to, to light and, uh, and getting me involved. Where'd you find these things? So, funny story, I, this, the guy I got these from, he's a, he's a desert guy out of Arizona, and uh, it was, they, they were, one was in better shape than the other one, and the, and the other one needed a lot of work, but uh, it, it, honestly, it kept me sane, and like you were saying, going through all my treatments and cancer and all that, it, it literally... Instead of thinking about, you know, the worst ha that could happen, I was spinning wrenches on bikes, and it just literally kept me from losing my mind, more or less. But uh, Jay sent me a bunch of parts for him once we got everything dialed in, and it was it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. So, what what years are they? Tell me what these are. So the white one that you rode is a 1992, and the one that I rode is a 1993. Um, they're almost identical. I mean, they didn't really change them until they stopped making them, to be honest. So getting parts wasn't that hard. But it it had its, I had my issues getting them, I should say. But it uh, they all came together and they were it was a blast to ride them today. It was fun. I still think mine vibrates more than yours, but I, I guess we'll never know until I ride yours. Yeah. But well, we had a lot of the companies that support a lot of our builds: uh, Vertex Pistons, FMF, UFO Plastic helped us really big, Cometic Gasket, uh, All Balls, Tusk, uh, Moto Seat built the seats. Decal Works did an awesome job on these graphics and. Uh, making kind of some gold leaf looking numbers and just really each of us representing our own fire departments Which I thought was really cool uh, TM design works Super sprock sprockets So just a lot of the companies that we are always involved with that we really work closely with helped out here Renthal um, And I had a ball in this thing today. So I hadn't ridden a 500 in a couple of decades I was really nervous jumping onto this thing, but uh, a few laps. I mean, as long as you have some respect for it, stay yeah. off the clutch, you know, like you, your arm will pump up right away if you start using the clutch anyway. So um, just leave it in. I was leaving it in third through the turns and just like using the throttle. And um, I, I, It's fun. Once you get going, I, I wouldn't want to be on a like a Glen Helen with a lot of jumps and, and big down. Right. I mean, I don't know. It's a little sketchy. It takes some getting used to. But one thing that this will do is really give you a whole new respect for the old pros of the 80s and 90s oh, yeah. that used to race these things or shoot going way back into the 70s racing 500s at speed man right the motors are brutal i mean you really have to respect them because if you ride them the wrong way they're going to toss you off oh man sure. you will get spit off like a like a booger off your finger it, they they these have no problem throwing you off so really really fun um a, one other shout out i want to give on this, this project was uh colin over at faster usa uh he Cerakoted these hubs, got found us some gold rims to really give it that retro Honda look, and he, he crushed it. Those guys make awesome wheels, great prices. He'll work with you on you know whatever it is you're trying to do and accomplish. Uh, those guys are big. We really appreciate Faster USA. We, we had a chance to both kind of ride together, which was kind of cool. Kind of took me back yeah, yeah. to the old days. Old days and, uh, and, and like I said, really fun bike. So thanks to all these sponsors involved. Dunlop was a big part of this thing. and. Uh, um, just a lot of great people involved. Uh, the suspension was done by, why don't you tell us about that so, guy? So ZR1, he's, he's out of Tucson, his name's Donnie. Um, he kind of, he's kind of been building suspension the last five or so years and he literally set these up the best that he could, you know, with, with, with what I, information that I gave him, but Donnie does that. And then Enzo did my stuff and I've been with Enzo since like 1993. So Ross Mehta and, and Craig Decker's dad, Will, those guys have, those guys are amazing. So, um, they really helped me out with the suspension, and that's kind of huge on these bikes because they're so big and heavy. So, suspension's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're trying to make more horsepower. Yeah, you just want to keep the horsepower under you. Yeah. Uh, hey, you want to give a shout out to uh, the boys at your fire department? 
yeah, I gotta say hi to my guys out at Golden Ranch Fire in uh, Tucson. Um, they know half of them know I'm out here, so hopefully they'll get to see this and give me props for it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give a shout out to all my boys at San Bernardino County Fire. Um, this thing is going to be up for auction soon. We'll try to release a bunch of that info when the video comes out and through our social media channels. But uh, all that money is going to go to a couple of really good causes for the moto industry and the fire service. Uh, as you know, cancer rates among people in the fire service are, are sky high versus a, a civilian. So something we're always very conscious about and want to try to help out with. So again, thank you to all these companies involved. Justin, thanks for getting me involved in this thing. I had a blast. It was fun. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.